Whether you are watching live or archived, we need your help to keep fun going. You can subscribe to First Updates now on Twitch, give bits, or make a donation. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description on how you can help fun. Welcome to FRC Breakdowns, where we analyze strategies to use in the first robotics competition. For First Updates Now, from Team 2338 Gear Forward, I'm Joshua Gint. And I'm Evan Stroud. And for today, we will be covering the spin cycle used in the Mar District Championships. All right, here we have the finals two match from the Mar District Championship. On our red alliance, we've got Team 225 Tech Fire out of York, Pennsylvania. We've got Team 2016 Mighty Monkey Wrenches out of Ewing, New Jersey. And Team 2590 Nemesis out of Robbinsville, New Jersey. On our blue alliance, we've got Team 25 Raider Robotics out of North Brunswick, New Jersey. We've got Team 1089 Team Mercury from Hightown, New Jersey. And Team 1640 Sabotage from Downington, Pennsylvania. All right, so we're going to start the match right here, and what you're going to see in the first, uh, you know, few seconds of autos, you're pretty typical, you know, get to the scale, cover it, and uh, the third robot on each side going for the switch, you know. 2016 will have a two-switch auto here, and if you pause it here, look at the placement of those cubes on there. There's That's some of the best placement you can get from an auto switch robot. They're right on the edge of there, they're right on the corners. Those are going to be some very good cubes. Yep, adding more torque so it's going to be harder for the blue alliance to take it later. And now right off the bat in our match, we can see 2590 going for the opponent switch and 225 going for the scale. And it may seem like if you look at 225's robot with that fast actuating arm, it seems like they would be better on the switch. But they can only reach so high on the scale. So what the red alliance is doing here is they're allowing 225 to get those quick cubes up there and waiting so that 2590 can, as you'll see later in the match, they can take over with their higher placement. And just like you said, in a few seconds here, um, once there's a first level on the scale on the red side, uh, 2590 uh, and 225 are going to basically switch sides, and uh, Tech Fire will be on the switch. It's happening right here, and then uh, 2590 will be on the scale. Even though they dropped the cube here, they've just got such better placement on those higher levels than 225 has. And if you look at uh, 2016 on the other side, they're just going about their business, filling up the vault here. Yep. They already have four in, and I mean, they're not being contested at all, so it's going to be very easy for them. And they're not going to be, then they're not being forced to put any on their switch, so they're not losing any cubes there. And the Blue Alliance has to play force here to try and start earning back some of those points that they're losing from not having the scale or their own switch. And so their robots are starting to have to retreat back from where they're good at, the scale, to go and play the switch. Yep. And then 2016 here has already put in all their cubes into the vault, so what they're going to start doing is uh, forcing the Blue Alliance to have to either uh, go around here uh, to get to the portal, or they're just going to, or basically 2016 is blocking that way and making it much difficult, or much harder for the uh, Blue Alliance to take their switch. And now as you can see, 225 has already run out of cubes in the portal on the side closest to their side of the switch. So they're going to have to start going to the portal on the other side. Yeah, but they also don't really waste time by doing that. They just see that defense in this case is going to be much more important. And like we said earlier with the cube placement, there's two on both sides of that switch, but the red side or red cubes are so much further from the... Uh, from the lever that you're going to have that extra torque to put them down. And 1640 missing a cube here yep. on the scale is going to be a big deal, or on the switch. Yeah. It's going to be a big deal for them because not being able to control in those last few seconds. At this point, the match is set and done. But... Yeah. And just for extra bonus points, uh, to uh, Tech Fire here is going to push 2016 onto that ramp, make sure that they're on, and they're going to get that triple climb. And the force just to make sure that blue can't use a power up, even though they don't have cubes because they had to load up their scale or their switch. And so this match was just it was it was almost a domination at this point. But they put up a good fight on the blue alliance. But when you have robots like this with a robot like Tech Fire that can play the scale early and then play the switch, a lot of the shooter robots this season would fit that description. And then you have another robot that can reach high up there on the scale and place them there at those upper tiers. This is very a very good strategy for you because it allows you to gain control of the entire field. What did you think of the strategy in this match, and how would your team have played it? Leave your comments below, and if you have a match or situation you'd like us to cover, let us know. For first updates now, I'm Joshua Gint. And I'm Evan Stroud. 
from Team 2338 Gear Forward, and we'll see you next time on FRC Breakdowns.